Welcome to Center of Math's basic series on real analysis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about continuous functions. So. so uh, we define a function uh, going from one metric space uh, E to another metric space E prime. Uh, we say it's continuous at a point P, P naught, and E. If uh, given some epsilon greater than some real number epsilon greater than zero, we can find the delta greater than zero such that when the distance between P and P naught is less than delta, then we have the distance between F of P and F of P naught less than epsilon in E prime. So we can get as close as we want uh, to points in E prime if as we get closer to points in E. And we say uh, F is continuous on the metric space E if it's continuous to all the points of E. So the idea uh, we can prove the composition of two continuous functions is also continuous. So we have some g going from e prime to e double prime and f going from e to e uh, prime. Uh, and so the idea here is since g is continuous for points close enough in e prime, the points will be as close as we want in e double prime. And since f is continuous for points close enough in e, we're going to get points as close as we want in e prime. So we take f to be close, the points in e close enough, so the points in e prime are close enough so the con continuity of G, we can then apply it. So specifically G is continuous, so we can find some N in E prime such that when the distance between F of P naught and N is less than uh, delta 1, then the distance between the images of those points would be less than some epsilon. But also since F is continuous, we can find uh, distance between P, uh, M such that distance between P naught and M is less than delta 2, which will then imply the distance between the images will be less than delta 1. But this implies when the distance of between P0 or M less than delta 2, the distance between G of F of P0 and G of F of M will be less than E. And so we see the composition satisfies the definition for the, the composition to be continuous. So another thing we can prove is a function going from E to E prime is continuous infinitely if for every sequence of points, P1, P2, et cetera, converging to P naught, we have the sequence of points F of P1, F of P2, dot, 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 converges to F of P naught. So first assume f is continuous. Uh, so this implies uh, if p and pn are close enough, less than some delta away from each other, then distance between f of p naught and f of pn will be less than some e, and e is arbitrary given uh, us uh, prior. Uh, since the pn uh, converge to the p naught, uh, yeah, since the pn converge to the p naught, we can find some p we can find some big N such that for any N greater than big N, distance between P naught and PN will be less than delta, delta taken as small as we want. Um, and also since F is uh, continuous and the P naught again is close to what we want to PN, uh, we see that the F of PN will become arbitrarily close to the F of P naught, and so the F of PN in fact do converge to F of P naught. Uh, now, if f is not continuous, that means there is some epsilon greater than zero for which we cannot find a delta greater than zero so that when uh, at distance uh, p naught n less than delta implies distance f of p naught f of n less than epsilon. Uh, so we can always find some n for which 
it's less than delta, but the second thing is not true. So it'll be greater than or equal to epsilon. So that means we can form a sequence of points, which uh, distance p naught pn is less than 1 over n for every n greater than or equal to 1. So the pn converts to p naught, but we can also select points, uh, these points such that uh, distance f of p naught comma f of pn is greater than or equal to e. Because if we couldn't select such a point, so f would be continuous. But it's not continuous at this point. So we can select those points, and so, so we have a sequence of pn converging p naught, but f of pn does not converge to f of p naught. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out centermap.org, check out our blog, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out the other uh, real analysis videos if you like this one. Uh, thank you.